creating some of the most hilarious, timely, and topical content for over 3 million followers is a daily task for Instagram megastars known as the meme queens who hail from Toronto. And we are excited to have them here. Welcome the faces behind at my therapist says on Instagram, Lola Tash and Nicole Argeris. Thank morning. you very much for joining us good this morning. morning. The meme queens are here and it's so good to have you. I know you're in town for, there's like a really cool social media week that was of course applauding your efforts that started only a few years ago. So how did this whole My Therapist Says account start out? You two we, are friends. Yeah, we were keeping in touch while I was living in LA and she was living here and we were sort of talking about what our therapist advised us against and we were like, well, my therapist said, and our therapist didn't say this, we were validating the bad advice that we were given each other. <laughs> we were never following what our yeah, therapist never. said. Yeah, never. And right. I think to this day our therapist is like, oh, we don't know them. <laughs> yeah, we never, we've never said that. I don't know her. I don't want to tell him to any of this. Yeah. But you built up this fan following, including Chrissy Teigen, Ariana Grande, Paris Hilton, to name a few. So yeah. when you saw this thing take off, what were you thinking? Uh, we didn't expect it. Like, it happens yeah. so fast, and it's kind of a domino effect where everyone was tagging their friends and their friends. And, and it, it really went through, like, a really gradual thing where it's like 500,000 followers, yeah. and then 5,000, 50,000, 500. Yeah, five, yeah. Five, 500 so, so, followers. So 500 followers, right. then 50,000, then 500,000, and then we monetized it around. Yeah, we started monetizing around 100,000, and then we realized it was a business at that yeah, point. You did. Yeah. What do you think it is that, that made it so popular, that made it grow like that? I think it's because we had, like, an organic voice when we were Original creating content. Original content, yeah. That's the biggest part, I think, being true to your voice and creating content all the time. Time. And listen, you have a your own YouTube program, no podcast starting. Uh, yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Podcast. Yeah. You've got a book. Yes. You you've had like accounts with Gucci where they're yeah. like stealing some of your phrases. Is that we're using? Uh, no, we created no, a bit of me a viral campaign them. for the Marche de Marve watch campaign. So this is how you are making your living right now. Are you going to pursue psychology? I know you just graduated. You are you acting? Um, well, we took. So she graduated, so then we took two years off to really like focus on My Therapist Says and build mm -hmm. it as a brand, so now we have a team working for us. And my sisters are like doing, like so it's like four of us really overseeing it, because we're not together part. a lot. Yeah, yeah. And we have a bunch of interns yeah. as well yeah. working with us, so it's become more a of a family <laughs> business. <laughs> yeah. We're all, it's wow. oh, sorry, sorry, like the Kardashians, we're all bringing in our family. Seriously. <laughs> what was it like when you decided to make that transition and realize, okay, we can make money off this? Business, did it yeah. change how you felt about it or change how you did things? Um, uh, no, we, I think we stay true, true to And it. because we have therapy in our name, we're very conscientious of what we can post and what we can't mm, post. Yeah. I'm not a humor account that can post something offensive because, you know, we have people messaging us being like, well, you're getting me through this, then you're getting me through my hospital stay, you're getting me through my anxieties. And we I really try laugh. to, like, yeah. eliminate yeah. the stigma and people can see that, you know, all these other people are going through the same thing that they are when we post memes about anxiety or depression. It really so helps responsibility. Them. You're yeah. both so brilliant at like the Seinfeld factor, I call it. It's the idiosyncratic things of life that we all can relate to, but we don't really no know how to do it. Yeah. Nobody says. And it's like, oh my gosh, I'm not alone. I so relate to that. Yeah. When do you come up with these ideas? Do you, do you write stuff down all the time? Do you you know, the night, yeah. jump up and... Constant group chats. Literally group chats. And every Sunday, I think they go back and yeah. forth and brainstorm a bunch of ideas the throughout the whole but, yeah. week. What yeah. would you guys say about being on live TV on BT right now talking about My Therapist Says? What would be the thing? I'm totally putting you on the spot. When you're feeling uncomfortable and want to die when you're trying to be okay. <laughs> yes, when, it's, yes. when it's way too yeah. early in the morning. <laughs> when it's way too early in the morning, but you gotta... You gotta smell through yeah. it. Yes, make sure you follow that. Join the three million plus who are laughing along with them and their posts at My Therapist Says on Instagram. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so much for having, having us. Well, right now, BT? our producer says... Throw a break. <laughs> like she said, back after the break. That was awesome.